morning everybody, I'm Roger from Hope Church in Downham and I'm going to speak to you today on Genesis chapter 23 on the subject of where do you store your treasure. As we come to chapter 23, it starts off very sadly with Abraham being bereaved. He was grieving, he was heartbroken, he had lost his wife, she had died. His greatest treasure was his wife. For a married man, his wife should always be his greatest treasure. They would always be thinking of each other, caring for each other. And Sarah, his wife, had died. He was bereaved. He was heartbroken. Verse 2 tells us that he was in tears. Sarah was 127 years old when she died. She is the only lady in the Bible to have her age recorded at her death. Abraham was living far away from home. In verse 4, he says that I am a stranger among you, a foreigner and a stranger. He had moved away to the land of Canaan from his home in Ur of the Chaldees. He had left all that he had known and the promise that God would one day give his descendants this land. It was going to be a long time before he saw that this would happen. In fact, he wouldn't see it would happen it would take probably another 500 years. But he moved out in faith. And this was now the crunch time. In Abraham's culture, you would bury your loved ones in your home area, even if you lived away. So now, this was crunch time. Where was Abraham's home area? Where was he going to put his greatest treasure that he had just lost? Was he going to send the body back home and store her there? Or was he going to act in faith for the future? and put his greatest treasure, his wife, in the land of Canaan. And he opted for the land of Canaan. He, ad he opted to put his wife, his dearly beloved wife, in a tomb in Canaan. And so, a bit of a story, but he basically bought the cave, bought the la land around it, the field, and he buried his wife there. It became the birth, the death place, the burial place for himself, Abraham, Isaac, Rebecca, for Leah, and also Jacob. They were all eventually buried there in faith that one day this would be part of their country. When Abraham bought that land, it was the first part of legal land that he owned that was legally his. He made the statement, my permanent home is here in the land of Canaan. In the New Testament for us, we read, our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly await the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to his glorious body. You see, we as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we who are born again and belong to him do not belong to this world. We belong to Jesus and his kingdom and our citizenship is in heaven. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus spoke about where we lay up our treasure. He said this in chapter 6 verse 19 of Matthew's Gospel. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and vermis destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So ask the question again. Where do you store your treasure? Do you store it here on earth in this temporary world? Or are you storing it in heaven where our citizenship is that will last forever? See, every time you give to the kingdom of God, you're storing up treasure in heaven. If you support a mission financially or in time, you're storing up treasure for the kingdom of heaven. You can't take anything with you in this world except people that you help to win to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, your Christian wife and your Christian friends you can take with you, but you cannot take your car, you cannot take your house, you cannot take any of your worldly belongings. You will leave them behind. So the question again is, where do you lay up your treasure? Is it on earth or is it in heaven? See, every time you invest in the kingdom of God, you're storing treasure in heaven. Every time you spend time helping someone to come to know Jesus, you're storing up treasure for the kingdom of heaven. 
whether it is be going on beach missions or other summer missions or gap years or if it is just to help at the local youth club the Christian Church Youth Club or something like that all the time you're helping to store up your treasure in heaven there was a famous English cricketer called C.T. Studd he was a great man he played cricket for England but he gave up it all he gave up much wealth to become a missionary and to go and tell people about the Lord Jesus in places where they hadn't heard of him and he said this only one life will soon be passed only what's done for Christ will last I ask the question again to finish with where do you store up your treasure?